the goal of Seeding Labs is to support talented individuals everywhere in the world to pursue scientific excellence and build an economy fueled by research and innovation. The science is uh, the future. Uh, the future of our country will be based on, on, on innovation, on, on technology. Everything that you see behind me here is research lab equipment, and it came from institutions that many of you work in. And today what we're doing is celebrating sending all of this equipment to Kenyatta University where we'll have a second life training the next generation of Kenyan scientists. I, think, I want to thank all of you for making this possible. Seven years ago, Seeding Lab celebrated its first shipment of equipment. It was about ten boxes that I personally could carry. <laughs> and it went to scientists in Guatemala and Paraguay. And since that time, we've ensured that scientists in 13 countries, in Latin America, in Africa, and the Caribbean, have the equipment to do world-class science. We need a scientific workforce that is really, truly interconnected, that collaborates regardless of geographic distance, and that has the right tools anywhere, everywhere, that they're needed. So take a look at all of this equipment around you, and try to picture what's going to happen when it arrives in Nairobi. There are 3,500 students waiting for it there now, waiting to get a better hands-on scientific education, waiting to do world-class research. They will be your collaborators in projects you haven't dreamed of yet. And it starts with the equipment that we're sending to them today. That is the vision. That is the world that Seeding Labs envisions. Thank you for sharing that vision with us. I think if you look at the economy of the 21st century, <coughs> is there any doubt that we're moving into the world where the economy, the economy will be driven by minds, not necessarily machines? that the network of education, of research, of science is really going to be the growth engine, as Nina so eloquently put it, that's going to be needed to attack the problems that have arisen in all parts of the world. What I hope, and what I think would be a fantastic outcome, is that some of the people that get to use these tools and uh, further their education can go on that journey and take up that torch about a, a real passion for research, for asking questions for which the answers aren't known yet. And then at, certain, at some certain point, those are the people that are going to help us solve the myriad of problems that we're dealing with today. And you know, Kenya takes education very seriously. We spend over 30% of our annual budget on education. And if there is one thing we are proud of, is the human resource capacity. And so any effort that goes to strengthen the base of our human resource capacity that will strengthen our institutions will always get our support. Elite science is very, very important in Kenya because that is the only way we can unlock the potential of the people in our country. In the current global dynamics, everything is governed by science, discoveries, new adventures, every question of life is answered by science. That web of minds from wherever people can take on the challenge of doing research will be essential to taking on the global problems that we have to handle.